I did sadistically, premeditatedly, deliberately tortured and murdered Yvette Pena. Just like seen opportunity, I didn't know her. I didn't know her. I met her, I was introduced to her. I met her like one time and I came back the next night and I seen opportunity, no one's there. You know, the, the Morocco Motel is, uh, they got a lot of parolees right there, that parole there's a lot of people who do drugs. So if they're screaming and yelling and stuff like that, no one's gonna call the cops. No one's gonna, uh, no one's gonna um, um, inter interfere with, inter <laughs> as you kill a person, it's more of a trying to get a, trying to get a rush. It's a rush, it's an addiction, it's a drug. I would rather do that than, than do drugs. Let's say the cops were following you. Yeah. Let's say they were following uh -huh. you and they did everything that you're, you're saying they did. Uh-huh. Nonetheless, yeah. you killed seven men. Yes, and you I'm did. And I'm asking you, what got you to kill the seven and men? And I'm telling you because the cops let me keep killing them, Nick. Don't you not, get it? Not everybody is killing seven people. So there must have been something in you that was getting you to oh, do Oh, you that. are lost, Nick. So I was a hitchhiking hooker. Right. Running into trouble, I'd shoot, shoot the guy if I ran into trouble. Physical trouble. The cops knew it. When the physical trouble came along, let, him, let her clean the streets. And then we'll pull her in. But That's how come why. there was so much physical trouble? It just, it, because it was all in one year. Seven people in one oh, year. Well. Oh, well. And that's when I decided I'm going to murder my mother. I knew a week before she died, I was going to kill her. And she went out to a party, she got soused, she came home, went to sleep. I, I was woken up by that, I got came out, I walked up to her bed, she's laying there reading a paperback, as many thousands of nights before. And she said, oh, I suppose you're going to want to sit up all night and talk now. Shit. I looked at her, I said, no. I said, good night. And I knew I was going to kill her, you know? And I'm so cold, it's so hard. And that's the first time in 10 years I've looked at it that way. I mean, that intensely, that honestly. It hurts. I am not sorry. for something I didn't do, and I am not sorry for the things I did do.